Coming up now, a 60-year-old is crowned a pageant queen, and now she's got her eyes set on Miss Universe 2024. We'll tell you who she is. Also coming up, Microsoft releases a creepy video of the Mona Lisa rapping. If only Da Vinci could see this. And later, a luxury airliner just for dogs. Yep, you heard that right. <laughs> Get ready for Bark Airlines, and these ticket prices will possibly surprise you. <laughs> Daily Flash starts right now. Get ready for trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. The fun starts right now. This is Daily Flash. I'm Andrea Jackson. And I'm Matt Doolittle, in for Mitch English, who's finally seeing a man about a horse in Oklahoma, apparently. <laughs> is that where he yes, is? Yes, he will be back okay. shortly. This is a Daily Flash. Hey, welcome, everybody. Matt, I picked this story just for you. Oh, great. Living <laughs> close to mom <laughs> is a major consideration for Americans buying a home. Uh, for me, it's got nothing to do with it. It's just because I have to, but I want to, but I have to also. The obligation me. is there. Some yes. interesting stats here. Nearly half of U.S. adults, about 47%, have moved or plan to move themselves or their mom so they can be closer together. And this is according to data from Realtor.com. I think that kind of kicked off after the pandemic and everybody got to actually know their families a little better because they <laughs> yeah, had to. Because it was either right. quarantine with them or without them. Yeah. So you're like, hey. Especially if you're away from your parents for a while and you moved out early and you're kind of all over the place. I think that you had to come back to them and you were like, I actually don't dislike them as much. I also think, too, it could be part of what they call the sandwich generation where you're sort of, you're raising kids, but you've also got aging parents. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to keep everybody kind of within arm's reach. Yeah. And that way it makes it a little easier if they're down the block as opposed to 500 miles across the country. Well, I'm thinking of the, the price of childcare right now, too. It just, That's it, it saves so much point. if you're like... Like, hey, mom, you want to hang out with the grandkids? And then you're saving a few grand a month. Because, yes. it, I mean, I don't have kids yet, but from all my friends are like, it is so much money. And most of them do have their parents to help them yeah. care for their kids now. Well, and in so many cultures, they've got extended families that all live within the same home. So mm -hmm. they've got that built in, you know, uh, health care, family care, uh, babysitters that can help raise an entire family. Well, and like with, with my situation, what we're even considering is, you know, maybe it's cheaper to just have mom live with us, you know. To, yes. I mean, rents right now, we've been looking at new apartments and they are re they are starting for a decent place at like 1800 a month. See, and to me that's a mortgage payment. Yeah. Like why would you want to spend that much money on rent? Well, even a but the ha try and get a house now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> With interest rates, rates at 7%. It's ridiculous. 8%. Well, check this out. A 60-year-old has been crowned Miss Universe Buenos Aires. Alejandro Rodriguez was crowned earlier this year. The 60-year-old lawyer and journalist beat out more than 30 other contestants to win the title. She looks amazing wow. for 60. She will now prepare to represent Buenos Aires at Miss Universe Argentina 2024. The Miss Universe organization recently removed the age requirement last year, so now anyone ages 18 and older can actually sign up to participate. The grand finale will be held on May 25th, and the winner will attend the Miss Universe contest in Mexico later this year. Hey, good on her, man. I mean, and I think a lot of it has to do with there's so many products out there to keep you ageless, and and, and so many you know uh, yogurt baths and stuff you can take <laughs> that might be helping. True, but I also think part of it's genetics, too. Yes. I oh, mean, yeah. I think she looks spectacular yeah. for 60. So I don't know if it's a combination of genetics and what she's eating and how she exercises, but... A lot of it's always diet. You always yes. hear these people like Tom Brady who have, like, just a whole book of, of avocado toasts <laughs> and yogurt smoothie, and, you know, that... I mean, it works. It is true. Like, what you put in is what you get out. So that but might be, a lot of it's diet. There is something to that because, you know, you know when you eat something and you feel good or light or mm -hmm. you eat something and you feel tired and heavy. Right. There's a huge difference between the foods when it comes to that kind of consumption. I'm on that uh, beer diet, though. The so beer diet. Good Lord, good Lord You're about I'm... to be on the cruise ship diet. Oh, I'm going to be gone for 10 days. Bye-bye, <laughs> bye-bye, Matt Mac. I'm, I'm gone. Well, the Mona Lisa is brushing up on her rap skills. Take a look. Yo, I'm a paparazzi. I don't play no Yahtzee. I go pop, 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 pop. My camera's up. Yo, see, I tell the truth from what I see and sell it to Perez Hilti. Don't call me scuzzy. 
Microsoft put out an AI generated video of Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece <laughs> rapping and the reaction has been mixed. It's part of their new technology that allows them to take a still image and audio clip to create talking faces. They released a clip of the Mona Lisa rapping to paparazzi, not the Lady Gaga version, but uh, rather a rap Anne Hathaway wrote and performed on Conan O'Brien's talk show in 2011. Huh. The response was quick and harsh with one person posting, why does this need to exist? I can't think of any positives. The company <laughs> says it's meant to be used for educational purposes. Sure. Uh, you're going to see more and more of this yeah. stuff. And I, I keep, I mean, we even played that video a couple weeks ago of that guy flipping out of the the, the, the Jeep on the beach. Yes, And yes. you got to look at stuff and go, is that real or not? I mean, obviously, this yeah. isn't real, but I mean, it's getting so good. I know. And especially the audio part of it. If you're just listening to an interview, what they can do and they can take someone's voice mm -hmm. and just recreate a whole conversation, it is terrifying. Fine. Well, they did this with um, uh, James Earl Jones. They, Disney basically had him read the dictionary <gasps> so that they could have his voice because he's the voice of Mufasa and Darth Vader yeah. and so many other things that they, they can they can generate a whole movie out of what they've had him record. And they can do that with anybody now. That's, that's a big problem they're about to have with the political uh, times is yeah. because... They've got audio clips of both candidates saying a lot of stuff that they can piece together. So, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Conan O'Brien do something like this with like pictures and moving lips? Well, and he used to. He, he would, <laughs> pretty mean, much. Well, he would do a thing, but he, he'd take like a thing. cutout of Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> yeah. and they put, Hello, yeah, how are you? you know, bring me your maids. You know, that's how they. He would do that a lot too, but it wasn't AI that back then. And now the other question is why Anne Hathaway's. Paparazzi? Yeah, I don't get that. Why I'm did you take that one? That's a random sure one. I'm not sure why you would choose that's some, that one. Somebody in the office is just a big Anne Hathaway fan. Yeah, or maybe they own the right. copyright to it and they didn't have to pay the money yeah, to I Lady think Gaga. That's, that's probably more it. Dogs will soon be able to experience their own first class flight with the launch of the world's first charter company designed for man's best friend. Bark, the company that coordinates the popular treat subscription BarkBox, is partnering with a jet charter service to ease the challenges of long distance travel with your canine. Bark Air will offer a first class experience for you and your four legged furry friend. However, it will cost you a ticket for just one dog and one human will run at least six thousand dollars and that's just for one way the first bark air flights will take off on may 23rd so far there are only two flights available each flight will undergo a dog's fly first flight prep that includes calming pheromones music and colors that the pups prefer and to make the flying experience easier and more enjoyable dogs will have access to various aids such as treats noise canceling earmuffs and calming <laughs> jackets during takeoff and descent, dogs will be given a beverage of their choice to help their ears adjust to cabin pressure. And, of course, an endless supply of Barkoff biscuits. People got too much money. <laughs> $6,000. I mean, I, I, I don't like it when they transport dogs and you see you hear these horror stories of them being down and the, where the luggage is. The or you cargo. see the videos yeah. of them basically getting treated like luggage. Yeah. But just them up there running around. Like, what if that thing hits turbulence? And Fido starts flying towards the roof. Like, the dog's not going to put on a seatbelt. I suppose if you're flying private, you really don't care about the turbulence. That's true. But you know what? <laughs> I, I believe that the dogs are going to be better behaved than some of the people that are on Spirit yeah. and Frontier Airlines right now. So great, great I, I'm point. like, I'd rather be on there with a St. Bernard than some lady, you know, relieving herself in the middle right. of the, you know, at least the dog has a reason to. Yes. And I don't mind sharing the armrest with a yeah. St. Bernard. No, that's fine. You, yeah. Or you see that one fluffy person get on the, you're like, no, you see yeah. a fluffy dog, you're like, oh, yay, sit next to me. <laughs> Well, the new season of TLC's wild reality dating series, Milf Manor, yes, that's a thing, has a bizarre twist. Ooh. Milf Manor follows six moms ranging from their 40s to 60s as they date younger men in their 20s. In the first season, the catch was they were dating each other's sons. In season two, the catch is right when the moms and the younger men start bonding, the dads show up to compete against their sons for the women's attention. Both fathers and sons admit once they got over the shock of possibly dating the same woman, they were okay with it. Talk about keeping it in the family uh, and a Maury episode just writing itself. I don't know about this. Really? <laughs> the MILF? MILF Manor. MILF Manor. I, I mean, it, look, everything's a reality show and they have to turn them into these dating competition shows. But yeah. This thing's just weird. You've got a weird like family complex if you're okay doing this on television. Yeah, it's like we've taken the Maury Povich show and we've sort mm -hmm. of extended its life in a different oh, yeah. format. You just, re you just repackage it into yeah. something new and then you put it on TLC, which, was that the Learning Channel back in the day? It was at one point. I learning how to date your dad's chick now? Like, I mean, there's, there's plenty of videos online for that. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 
our camera guy Jimmy is shaking his yeah, head. Yeah, he knows what I'm talking is there about. Yeah, look more at you. We need to know, Jimmy. Yeah, uh, you, you prefer the MILF Manor people, don't you? Oh, yeah, my look goodness. at you. Okay. <laughs> Do, is there a story there? No, there's not. I okay. just mess with them. But they, they, I, I, what, where are we going to go next? Like, are the moms going to compete for some guy next? Like, moms and daughters compete for the same oh. guy? That'd be weird. Well, well it's, I'm sure it's happening. And I then, mean, look what happened with the, uh, what was it, the Golden Bachelor? Yes. They were married for three months. <laughs> That didn't, Has it, any relationship on the Bachelor no. or Bachelorette ever lasted except for one, Tristan and Ryan? That's the only one I can think of. Any of these reality shows never last. Yeah, very true. <laughs> uh, well, stay with us, everybody. Daily Flash continues in just a moment. We've got more fun. You miss a minute, you miss a lot, my friend. That's Especially what I Jimmy. Say. Yeah. Yeah. Don't miss him. i got to find out more yeah, about what's yeah, going yeah. on with Jimmy <laughs> in the head. Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. February, well, we all know it's the month of love. But don't forget to love yourself. What does that actually look like? Joining us right now to talk about that is, of course, Dr. Jeter, who is joining us now, Dr. Jeter. This is so important that we get to this point because a lot of us forget that the first, we can't love unless we love ourselves. But what does it mean to love yourself? This is such a great question. And thank you for having me on Certainly. today. Yourself means pouring back into your being, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. It also means connecting with those around you. Sometimes we forget that community and connecting with those who love us is also self-care and self-love. You know, and, and it's easy. We always hear that, uh, you know, just love each other and love yourself and that thing, but it's actually a little bit, some might take it harder than actually it can be. Can you share maybe some practical tips, maybe even some strategies for maybe integrating some self-care that we can put in our daily lives? Absolutely. So I lead conversations around self-care with mothers, youth leaders, executive leaders, and they I hear this question a lot. So it includes sleep, nutrition, exercise, and again, community. Last year, our U.S. Surgeon General declared a national epidemic on isolation and loneliness, yeah. which we know can increase your risk for heart disease by 32 percent. And so incorporating these two practical, four practical tools can help us generate a form of self-love and care. You know, we saw that during the pandemic, a huge rise in all this because people were, you know, staying home and that sort of thing. And then, you know, a lot of people, a lot of research comes out, it's like, all right, well, I need to start, you know, taking, having self-care. But there's some misconceptions that came along the way about self-care, maybe like the idea that you're being, um, indulgent in yourself or maybe even selfish? Are those common misconceptions when people think of self-care? Absolutely, absolutely. But when you think about pouring back into yourself and being an example of self-care for those around you, how could self-care and self-love ever be selfish? Uh, well, it's actually, yeah, that, that, that's a very good way to look at it. And I think maybe that's the way to start off by that. Um, I think, too, there there is a condition, though, where I think, and I'd like for you to speak on it, because a lot of times we put ourselves out there, like on Facebook, and we're showing, you know, all this, look at me, look at me, and look how much to love me, and that sort of thing. Could that sway to a different manner, maybe bringing on a different mental health crisis? Absolutely. When you think about um, burnout and issues that we're seeing within our community, for example, we saw millions of people leaving their jobs from yeah. exhaustion, being able to feel tired from just being overworked and having ways to not take time off. So it's important for us to think about what are we doing to pour into ourselves? How are we improving our mental health? How are we ensuring that we prevent burnout? And taking time off is another form of self-care. I think that people tend to focus it on being selfish, but it is impossible if you're loving yourself and showing others how to do the same. I love that. Yeah, and again, as I uh, started off with, I, I, even I know you, you can't love anybody else until you love yourself because you're just going to project onto them. And the stats of what's going on in the world and here in the United States are extremely interesting. First off, check this out. One in five U.S. adults experiences mental health illness each year. One in 28 U.S. adults have an experienced serious mental illness each year. And then 50% of all lifetime mental illness actually begins at the age of 14. Then 75% is at age 20. Why 14, Angelica? When we think about the ways in which our youth are engaging the world around them, 
see things around social media. We see things around a lot of isolation and lack of connection and getting outside and connecting with their friends and family. And we know that the earlier you are connected to social media, the more likely you are to suffer some forms of mental illness and mental disease, unfortunately. You know, um, there's a Justin Bieber song, and I always use it. Says, you know, instead of, you know what I'm talking about? You just need to love yourself. And I hear that because there's another thing you say when you're mad at somebody, hey, you need to go, whatever. But I think that is so much more uh, uh, deeper because obviously if they're doing something mean or something wrong, they're not loving themselves. And when you meet somebody that maybe you might characterize as that, how do you approach that? What do you say to them? I think that is important when you have someone in your life who may be experiencing some mental health issues or illness or problems in that moment, uh -huh. extend grace to them, offer a safe space, give them vulnerability. Because I know that when we share our own journey from a healed place, we give people the courage to do the same thing. So grace, safety, honesty, and vulnerability is essential when you see someone else going through those experiences. I love that. And uh, and also it's kind of like a mentor too, if you could see somebody that, wow, that person just seems to have it together. Well, obviously they're, they're, they love themselves. Let's talk about your experience. What are some maybe the most significant benefits that maybe people can really experience when they do get that self-care? Are we seeing a 180 in their life or are they seeing life differently? I absolutely love this question. The benefits are unsurmountable. When we think about the level of sleep, we all need more sleep, right? Yes. Improving sleep, <laughs> improving our overall health, being able to connect with others in a meaningful way, being able to be more productive and having energy throughout the day. And at the end of the day, when we pour into ourselves, it's really life or death. Yeah. Being able to have better quality of life and longevity who can put a price on that? I agree. All right, people are walking out the door, they're leaving to go to, to their work job, pick up the kids, whatever. What's the one piece of advice concerning all of this that you like, want them to have when they walk through that door? Remember that loving yourself and having healthy boundaries is an investment for the long run. Yeah, I love that. And you also get a great smile like uh, Dr. Angelica. And we definitely appreciate you being on the show. And it is very something very, very important. And in this world where a lot of people feel like they are alone, they are not. If, if they love themselves, they'll find what they need. Angelica Jeter, you can check out her information by going to her website. There it is on your screen. And if you want to improve your mental health, check it out. It's AngelicaJeter.com. And of course, we'll have this interview on our website as well when you head to DailyFlashShow.com. More Daily Flash coming up. We're doing it with Matt Doolittle. That's coming up right around the corner. Stick around. Trending news and entertainment right here on Daily Flash. Well, guys, we are just about two weeks out from my big day of getting hitched to my beautiful fiance, Leanne. And honestly, it can't come soon enough. I'm getting hitched in a couple of weeks. Can you guys believe it? <laughs> After all I've been through and all the relationships, I finally found one. And this past weekend, we finally had my rite of passage with my bachelor party. I want to thank some of my lifelong buddies who came out. That includes Mr. Mitch English there, my buddies Travis Dale, Travis Storm, Jeremo, Big Dean, they all came to town to help me celebrate. Now, we didn't do any of that crazy stuff you see in the movies that we would have done 10 years ago, and this would have been about 20 more people and a lot less clothes, trust me. It was a nice night out of catching up with some top golf and dinner, but some of the details are a little fuzzy, I'll be honest, but I have to say this meant more to me than it would have 10 years ago. Now, I'm older, I'm 39, I dare say, and a bit more selective with who I hang out with. I had a bunch of ne'er-do-wells running around back in the day and some people we just lost connection. A couple of those guys in there I've known since preschool. The rest came along, Mitch and Travis, I met as an intern on my first TV <laughs> job some 17, eight years ago. Uh, yeah, wow. uh, it really helped me put the stuff in the perspective as you know, all those guys are all married, they've all got kids and I'm the last one of the bunch to make this leap. Now it's taken me a while, it's a, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of had my own issues and stuff I had to work out, but therapy helped a lot. And this is all part of my going forward. And anyone who knows me over the years knows I, I sort of did what I wanted. I took off where I wanted to, I lived where I wanted to, I jumped around to a few new professions because I could. But now I've decided it's time to finally settle down. Simmer down. With this, 
At this time, it's coming up in my wedding. I finally have a sense of settling down, getting my roots, starting to figure out the whole life thing at almost 40, you know, to each their own. And the bachelor parties usually end up like they do in the movies with someone loses a shoe, you lose them overall, you have to throw some people in cabs to head home early, but right. everyone leaves smelling like Dillard's and covered in glitter usually, but that's not what we did. This was exactly what I wanted to do with my boys from all over the world, so I wanted to thank you guys and everybody else that's coming to the wedding. Let's get ready for party part three, because let's see, this I'll have what, three total bachelor parties yeah. going on here, Mitch? Between yes. Vegas, this one, and then we're going to see Billy Joel this weekend. So. Absolutely. Oh. Very excited for all three of them, too, which is great. And no one got arrested, which is, I think is an accomplishment. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one died, no one got arrested, so again, thanks guys, and we did it. But my bachelor party. There you go. Well, congratulations, yeah, Matt. Yeah, we're all looking forward uh, to all of that. And you know, out of everything, it was cool just to chill. You know, the guy guys, you know, yeah. you're sitting watching a football game and chill, but this was nice being out and chilling. So yeah, you guys cool. did the top golf. You went to yeah. dinner. Very adult of you. <laughs> it's a very uh, mature. You know, it was. <laughs> and it was a, a weird feeling all together knowing that, you know, we could do whatever we want. We had uh, day passes from our wives. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're just going to hang out. Why not? It was cold and rainy. So uh, there you it, go. it was a little eye opening to hear Matt say he interned with us 20 years I ago. I know. That's so <laughs> weird. He came to us as a bright eyed little, uh, you know, fresh At Disney, out of college. I remember that. It was, it was insane. Yeah. So you guys broke me. We broke him. We broke him. <laughs> My goodness. Well, he's made it out okay. Indeed. We've got some entertainment news for you now. Victoria Beckham, AKA our favorite Posh Spice, says she is not ready to be a grandmother just yet. During a recent interview with Vogue magazine, the 49 year old was surprised by the question, was she ready to be a Nana? Well, she said she's looking forward to it, but doesn't see herself in that role just yet. Victoria and her hubby, David Beckham, have been married for 24 years. Wow. They have four children, Brooklyn, 24, Romeo, 21, Cruz, 18, and Harper, 12. Their son, Brooklyn, recently married Nicola Peltz, a model and actress from a wealthy Palm Beach family. Uh -huh. Victoria once asked Vogue bigwig Anna Wintour how she deals with being a grandmother and what her grandkids call her. Anna told Victoria she enjoys it, but they don't call her grandma, just Anna. Just Anna. <laughs> Which All I right. think a lot of ladies are sort of like, don't call me grandma. That's, uh, yeah, just call me my first name. Or they, they have, a nickname. Yeah, a nickname is the, the biggest. Grandma seems to be the most uh, offensive, I guess, somewhat. Um, I can understand where she's at, and I think she's got the right attitudes. Like, right now, no, I don't want to be a grandma, but there is going to be a time. I'm dying yeah. to be a grandfather. And, I, and, and what's so crazy about my kids, I tell them, I was like, look, you have a permanent babysitter. You guys can go do stuff, <laughs> whatever. True. Just drop the baby. I'm ready for it. Yeah. I'm like looking forward to it. Nowhere in the scope of me ever being a grandfather anytime soon. But one day, I'm crossing my fingers. You mentioned Billy Joel. Yep. Legendary piano man Billy Joel has been uh, de-aged by AI in his latest music video. It's his first single in nearly two decades. Oh, check it he out. posted the music video, which features a 74-year-old rocker star flipping through the pages of the lyrics for Famous Last Words, released back in 1993. Then it cycles through a number of moments in his life and career while performing inside of a really cool concert venue. As the camera moves up, the singer is seen as a much younger version of himself, as you can see there. Joel is then aged a few more years before he starts the chorus for his new song, Turn the Lights Back On. Now, he recently performed the song during this year's Grammy Awards, the first time he took the award stage to sing in more than 20 years. Wow. And during the show's red carpet event he told an interviewer he had lost interest in songwriting over the years and recently found new inspiration from the producers of his new song we can keep playing this video if we can so you can see some of the aging process it, yeah. it's neat that he's embracing yeah. that too and he also says one billion dollars if you want my uh, audio uh, library of all of his oh, music really? he, he'll, he'll, he'll consider it for a billion dollars oh, wow. well good for him good for him he's yeah. lost money twice in his life went bankrupt more flash after this is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hey everyone, I'm Andrea Jackson. And I'm Matt Doolittle in for Mitch English. He's finally getting that smell taken care of. Um, <laughs> Is Andrea, that what that was? That's what that was. Okay. He's finally getting it looked at. He found a guy that would finally look at that thing. It's always good to know a yeah. guy. I mean, I, I, for all of us, Mitch, <laughs> we're, we're glad you're getting it taken care of. Uh, did you know there's not actually a, not a thing called a, an actual vegetable? 
They're, okay. They're, they're, they say that that's part of like a marketing thing that was done back in the day so they could just combine them and distinguish huh. between vegetables and, and uh, fruits. I guess I've never but, really thought about that. So a fruit is recognized botanically as anything that contains a seed. Uh, vegetable is actually a broad umbrella term for many types of edible plants like broccoli and kale and stuff are stalks. Ah. So there's actually no vegetables. So you, you kids out there, you can yell at your parents, and, eat your vegetables. Well, that's not a real thing. You've got to call it by, I mean, we got to call everything by its real thing now. It's so, a, yeah, right. You know. <laughs> what it identifies what is that? What is that? <laughs> what, is, what does that carrot identify as? <laughs> Broccoli, maybe? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> uh, so, well, that makes, I've never really thought about it that way, but I can see how that makes sense. Yeah. And uh, so as for produce that are grown from flowers, such as peppers and tomatoes, the, uh, the hot debates are the crops are botanically classified as fruits. So those are actually fruits. Like a tomato is a fruit. Well, because it has seeds, right? right? So anything like that. So they're, they're, they're recombining this, and it's mainly from the European Food Information Council. They're the oh, ones that are putting this those out. Those people know how to party. Yeah, too. They, those are rock stars <laughs> there. All right, well, a 60-year-old has been crowned Miss Universe Buenos Aires. Uh, on Alejandra Rodriguez was crowned earlier this year. The 60-year-old lawyer and journalist beat out more than 30 other contestants to win the title. She will now prepare to represent Buenos Aires as Miss Universe Argentina 2024. The Miss Universe organization recently removed the age requirement last year, so now anyone age 18 and older can sign up. The grand finale will be held on May 25th, and the winner will attend the Miss Universe contest in Mexico later this year. So, I mean, she looks great for 60, and then good for them for letting them compete. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's probably time that the pageant world kind of extend its um, uh, its age requirements and, and to other, include uh, other people. And I think that it's so funny that, that pageants still exist because we've yeah. gotten into this era of not uh, you know, uh, looking at certain stuff or the bikini contest yes. or just, you know, who, you know, what's pretty thing. Yeah. And now they like, they open it up to different body sizes and it's different ages, different ages. Yeah. And I, I, I'm just surprised the pageant still exists. And like, I couldn't tell you who Miss America was for okay. the last 10 years. Yeah. You and me both. Which, but you know, there's a whole system set up within it. That's, you know, it's a money making mm -hmm. business basically. I, and it's based on a lot of scholarship programs too. Well, like this one was uh, Buenos Aires. I think that in, in the rest of the world, they haven't, um, and I know this from going over to Europe, they haven't gotten as tight about like, oh, you can't body shame. Like in Europe, they still body shame the heck out of everybody. Oh, well, they, yeah, they will They will still sit there with the red laser pointer and point out <laughs> stuff and everything. <laughs> They've done that for thousands of years. Yeah, They're I mean, not changing. It's not changing. We're getting back to that era. Yeah. I think if you saw the Tom Brady roast last week, yes. you're like, oh, comedy's kind of coming back. Well, that would be refreshing, right? Yeah. Everything sort of swings, yep. you know, the pendulum, right? Well, the Mona Lisa is brushing up on her rap skills. Take a look. Yo, I'm a paparazzi. I don't play no Yahtzee. I go pop, 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 pop. My camera's up. Yo, I tell AI you generated know video I of Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece rapping, and the reaction has been mixed. It's part of their new technology that allows them to take a still image and audio clip to create talking faces. They released a clip of the Mona Lisa rapping to paparazzi. No, not the Lady Gaga song, but rather a rap Anne Hathaway wrote and performed on Conan O'Brien's talk show back in 2011. The response was quick and harsh with one person posting, why does this need to exist? I can't think of any positives. The company says it's meant for educational purposes. It, it might drag kids into being like, oh, look, the Mona Lisa. Let me learn more about that. Mm -hmm. That's their reasoning. But really, kids oh, are like, that's okay. dumb. dumb. <laughs> that's a dumb. They'll go to YouTube. They don't they can, care. Yeah, they want stuff yeah. on YouTube. Attention Daily Flash fans. Ever dreamt of being part of the action? Now's your chance. Join our exclusive virtual audience and experience the show like never before. Get a special credit on the show, interact with our fabulous hosts, chat with producers, and guess what? Some lucky participants might even find themselves on a massive billboard in iconic locations like New York's Times Square, Los Angeles's Sunset Strip, Miami, or Atlanta. Don't miss out on this electrifying opportunity. Sign up now by heading over to blyzeal.com and be a with the Daily Flash virtual audience. And now some great ideas for mom on her special day. With Mother's Day around the corner, Megan Murphy shares her thoughtful gift ideas. Give the gift of hassle-free printing. HP's new service comes with the choice of a new printer, automatic ink delivery, a printer update after two years, 24-7 live support, and next business day replacement. For the moms with busy homes, the Roomba Combo J9 Plus tackles the mess with powerful vacuuming and deep scrub mopping. And the new clean base autofill dock 
empties debris and replenishes the robot with liquid. These Renfo Iris 1 and Iris 3 eye massagers offer customizable acupressure modes that gently knead your under eye, sinuses, and temples. Plus, these stream your audiobooks or music while you're relaxing. And to end on a sweet note, M&M's has a Mother's Day gift collection with personalized offerings. For other occasions like Father's Day and graduation, M&M's has custom gifts that you can add names, photos, or heartfelt messages onto the candies. For more information, head to these brands' websites. Mother's Day is the perfect opportunity to celebrate all the incredible and strong mothers in your life. Here's lifestyle expert Joanne Butler with some special buys she's sure to love. Oh, hi, thanks for having me. Well, let's start with the gift of some great hair. I love Pantene and these are their luxury wash duos. They have this beautiful collection that makes a great Mother's Day gift and you can get them right at BJ's Wholesale. It's their Miracle Moisture Boost Shampoo and Conditioner. It's made with pro-vitamin B5, antioxidants and special rose water that's derived from the petals and buds of the Rosa Gallica plant and creates this rich rose water lather. So it's super hydrating on parched locks, tames frizz, and just leaves it really soft and smooth, even dry, rough hair. Plus, it smells delicious, so it just transforms not only your hair, but your entire shower experience into some mini self-care time. This duo gives you strong, healthy, clean hair repair without the $60 price tag, too, so definitely cheaper than a spa day. Again, right at your local BJ's. Now, to keep that spa-like experience going, these are Tree Hut's moisturizing body lotions right here. I am obsessed with Tree Hut. Talk about smelling amazing. These just take you right on a tropical vacation. They come in the scents Moroccan Rose, Coco Colada, Watermelon, and Pink Hibiscus, and they are amazing on your skin. They're packed with shea butter, ceramide, squalane, and a fruit oil blend, so super nourishing. It just melts right into your skin, and it's actually made to reinforce the skin barrier and last a super long time. Plus, it makes your skin radiant and glowing. Mama love these. Right at Target, for $8.99. Now, in addition to these things that help mom feel relaxed and rejuvenated, the restaurant Walk On Sports Bistro is doing something really cool to honor mom, the family coach, calling a time out for them because they know just as it's vital for athletes to get a recovery day, they know moms need one too. So actually 58% of moms report they want some alone time this Mother's Day. 62% say they get less than an hour to themselves each day. So the brand is encouraging a restorative break and to make the day even sweeter, all moms will get a free dessert on Mother's Day, whether they dine in with the fam or take it back home uh, to enjoy at home. Um, look at these. Warm cookie sundae, donut bread pudding made with Krispy Kreme donuts, or beignet bites. So uh, yum, yum, yum. And moms will also get a gift card for a future date night without the kids because we all know parenting's a team sport, right? It's just a super cute idea, fun place, great food, free sweet treats. Who doesn't love that? Win, win, win all around. Uh, and you can check out to see if there's a walk-on restaurant near you just head to walkons.com always great stuff for mother's day mm -hmm. and you know what you can give your mom as a gift it, that's to go to our youtube page because <laughs> we've got a bunch of behind the scenes stuff i've even got my own little preview review thing on there where i take a look at uh, trailer reactions theme park stuff all that fun stuff and our website has a bunch of behind the scenes stuff it's also. the gift that keeps on giving yeah, you know what and you you can constantly watch it yes. like i know my mom does so uh -huh. i know at least i get the clicks Isn't so it it's, great? it's a gift i keep giving her i love that my, my family that live on the west coast say oh i saw that episode i'm like oh that's right you can actually yeah. Watch it online YouTube or on YouTube. It. YouTube. Yeah. YouTube everything. We're back right after this. Staying fit isn't easy when you have a busy schedule. Here's how you can incorporate more movement in your daily routine from our medical expert in this latest, Dr. Re Ken Red Cross to the Rescue Health Minute. Now, regular physical activity is a huge health boost, not only for your body, but your mood and general well being. So, here are a few smart tricks to help you sneak in more exercise without even realizing it. Try the 50-10 rule. Take 10 minutes for a break after working uninterrupted for 50 minutes. Stand up and walk around when you're on the phone or in a virtual meeting where you're not on camera. This will help increase the step count and also give your eyes a much needed break from the screen. Put on your workout gear first thing in the morning and you're more likely to commit to doing the work than skipping out this small change can affect your mind state and help make exercise a daily habit. Turn household chores into short workout sessions. 
Try some lunges, maybe while you're vacuuming or mopping. Unloading the dishwasher can be so boring, but torso twists or standing calf raises and bicep curls can help the time pass faster while you get some fitness in for the day. If your body gets a little sore from these added activities, remember to take it slow and consider using a pain reliever like Arnica Gel by Boron to help keep you comfortable. Made from Arnica, this unscented and quickly absorbed gel works to relieve sore and stiff muscles as well as bruising. With these simple changes, you'll be feeling more fit and healthier in no time. I'm Ken Red Cross with your Dr. Red Cross to the rescue Health Minute. Planning a big move? Not to worry, we've got some great ideas to make it easy and stress-free. Joining us now with more is Bahar Takteshian. Thanks for having me. Well, as you know, spring is the season of moving, and the Scotch brand wants to really support your next move. Thankfully, they've got a wonderful collection of moving and packaging tapes, and my number one overall pick is the Scotch Heavy Duty Packaging Tape. This is built for ultimate strength, and it's guaranteed to really stay sealed. One strip will totally get the job done. Now let's say you're looking for a more quiet option that still gives you a secure seal, then you definitely wanna try their Scotch Tough Grip Packaging Tape. I find that as a parent, sometimes you're stuck packing in the middle of the night or when the kids are asleep, so this is a great solution for those parents. Now the Scott brand really wants to give movers a perk and they wanna thank people for trying the Scotch brand. So here's what they're doing. They're actually giving away $100, $100 gift cards from DoorDash. This is called their Moving Munchy Money Sweepstakes, and it's awesome. Basically, you get a chance to try a new restaurant and you get an opportunity to not cook and really settle into your new home. Super simple to enter this sweepstakes. Basically, you just take a picture of yourself using Scotch brand packaging tape in action, put it on Insta, use the hashtag Scotch Moving Sweepstakes, tag Scotch, and that's it. You can actually go to scotchbrand.com for rules and moving tips. Now, this is a season where lots of ants and other critters will be in your home, so get rid of those pests as fast as you can. Thankfully, Combat is the leader in ant and roach control and has been for more than 25 years. They've got a brand new two-in-one ant bait system. It's a complete system, and it's formulated with a really powerful active ingredient. So this is going to attract both sugar and grease-loving ants, and it is effective against 11 types of ants. It's going to kill the ants that you see as well as the ants that you don't. And I love that there's no vapor, fumes, or odor. Simple to use and really safe for both indoor and outdoor use. You can find this product at Target, Amazon, and Home Depot. A dairy-free cheese brand is paying one lucky cheese lover big bucks to create delicious melty recipes. Here's more. Listen up, cheese lovers. Dairy-free cheese brand, Day of Foods, is on the hunt for a new vice president of melting, and it's a chance to make some extra cheddar. John Kelly, chief marketing officer at Day of Foods, shares more. Day's latest job opening could be one of the most delicious roles yet. For one lucky person, it's an opportunity to perfect recipes, calculate a precise melt time, and even collaborate with some of Day's innovation team. The Vice President of Melting, or MVP, will explore all the ways Daya's new cheeses can be enjoyed. The remote role comes with a $20,000 cash payment and a year's supply of Daya's dairy-free cheese. At Daya Foods, we're always on the lookout for people who share our passion, our vision, and our ability to make each other smile. We believe in making dairy accessible to everyone, plant-based or not. If you're a self-proclaimed cheese lover, don't miss this delicious new role. To learn more and to apply, visit dayoffoods.com. Again, that's dayoffoods.com. During the last two decades, Botox has become a household name, making it the number one selling product of its kind. Here with more is board-certified dermatologist, Dr. Michelle Henry. Hi, thanks for having me. So Botox Cosmetic has become a household name over the last two decades. It really has transformed the aesthetic industry and is a one-of-a-kind product. So it's a neurotoxin, and it's approved to temporarily treat moderate to severe frown lines, forehead lines, and crow's feet. So getting the real deal Botox Cosmetic is absolutely critical. You know, there have been millions of treatments, and sometimes people forget that this is truly a medical procedure. And with medical procedures, there's a measure of risk. So make sure you talk to your doctor to make sure this is the right procedure and product for you. So when we're having 
choosing a neurotoxin, it's really important that we think about the data and the science. So again, over 20 years of safe use and then a rigorous scientific procedure behind it to make sure you're safe. So Allergan Aesthetics, the only authorized provider and distributor of Botox Cosmetic really has strict procedures in place to make sure the right product goes into right hands. And that quality control really makes me feel safe. You know, there are over 5,200 publications on Botox Cosmetic and 604 actual medical journal articles. So this is really important. It's FDA approved for all three areas, not just individually, but together. So you can treat the frow lounge, the forehead, and the crow's feet together. And when you have FDA approval, not only is it a rigorous process, but it helps to detail the dose and the actual area you should treat. So when I'm treating my patients, I want to make sure that I have a data-backed, science-backed product, and that really keeps me safe. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'm Mitch English. We're welcoming you to Mitch the English and Andrea Jackson have co-hosted together for over a decade. And now, only on Daily Flash, they serve up a fast, fun, fresh perspective on the day's trending news and entertainment. Okay, so you want me to cancel the Will and Jada Smith celebrity roast? Okay, will do. You'll be entertained with intriguing, informative, and engaging guests. Daily Flash offers the latest in pop news, celebrity gossip, fashion, health, wellness, and even some unscripted, irreverent, who knows what's next fun. All right, I'm gonna pull a groin. Oh, ah! that's not what broke. Daily Flash with Mitch English and Andrea Jackson. Trending news and entertainment. Welcome back to Daily Flash. Here's registered dietitian Frances Largeman Roth with some great nutritious on the go snacks for kids during the busy summer travel season. Spring can be a busy season for families. Spring sports are in full swing, and with the weather warming up, we're off on outdoor adventures and trips. In fact, studies show we'll be traveling even more this year than we did last year. So being prepared with easy, wholesome snacks that kids love and that don't need to be kept cold can make parents' lives a whole lot easier. I'm Frances Largeman Roth, a registered dietitian and mom of three, and here are three of my absolute favorite snacks for kids on the go. First up is homemade trail mix, which is so easy to make. This is completely customizable to your kids' tastes, but I like to opt for a base of whole grain popcorn for some fiber, then add a handful of nuts for omega-3s, a little dried fruit for that chewy texture, and a few dark chocolate chips. Second, you can't go wrong with go-go squeeze pouches. My kids love these, from the classic all fruit blends like apple apple, to the ones with veggies too, like boulderberry, made with 100% fruits and veggies, like apples, carrots, raspberries, strawberries, and blueberries. Sourced from best-in-class orchards and farms, at no added sugar, so they're an easy way to get kids wholesome nutrition on the go, go, go. And Go Go Squeeze follows rigorous protocols to make sure its pouches meet or exceed industry standards and regularly test them at a third-party lab here in the U.S. so they're a snack I can trust, which of course, as a parent, is crucial. My third go-to on-the-go snack for kids is cheese. And if you go for Baby Bell, you have an on-the-go snack that's fun for them to eat. These can also be an easy way to give your kids protein and calcium, plus they go well with whole grain crackers if you want to throw those in a baggie as well. There you have it, my must-have snacks for kids on the go. Good stuff there. And did you get the chance to see the Tom Brady roast last I week? I did. I watched all three hours of it. I was surprised it was that long. But yeah, usually, well, because usually when they do them, they were editing them when they were on Comedy Central yeah. down to about two hours yes. and cutting out stuff. And they were, they would run three, four hours when they were doing them. But this one was brutal. It I was. loved it. I, I'm, I, and Tom, good, good for Tom because people think he's a robot anyway. And they've got to get, they gotta get yeah. used to him like being on TV more now. Yeah. So I think that this was a good chance for him to show he can take the hits. The only thing that was off limits according to Tom Brady were his kids. Yeah. I mean, a couple of people yeah. still made a couple jokes over that, that kissing video yes, and stuff. Yes, that is so true. So they, they did go after that, but I, I thought yeah. it was great. I, I think Nikki Glaser was the best oh, one of the night. Oh, she was fantastic. Me Gronk. It was <laughs> great. Was Check great. out our website. More flash tomorrow, folks. Peace and love.